Hi ho my crafty friends. This is Lori from the Ladybug Journals and welcome to part two of our envelope stack. So we are going to continue with creating our envelope stack. Now I haven't done anything since I left you the last time. This is where we stopped off. We have our base completed and we have our first envelope completely covered and made into a pocket. And I have um, gone on, and to help this move on a little quicker, I picked out some pages for us. So what we're going to do here is, um, let's see here. This one is number two, so we're going to put that back on the stack. Oh, one of my boys has come to visit us. So we're going to start here on the bottom. And um, we're going to cover this one with this page right here. And uh, let's move our stack over here out of the way so we're not getting glue all over it. So we're going to turn it over. And I'm going to see if I can get the most, see if I can see through the light here, get the most roses here. And I'm thinking... It's going to be right about in here. Maybe, maybe right about here is where we want to be. And then um, after I got to looking at what we already created, I like the fact that we have um, just regular book page on the back. So I think that's what we're going to do to all of them is uh, just put book page on the back of them. And then when we do some decorating and things like that, we'll have, um, you know, we'll have a nice place to, to do that. So let's see here. Let's get our glue stick down. Let's see. Okay, now let's see if if um, we're going to be a little smarter this time. And we're going to get the envelope that goes next. <laughs> Remember, last time we tried to put it down afterwards. But let's see if we can do this here the right way. Okay, let's see if I can turn this light on. Put a little more light on us. I just realized I left a light off. Oh, golly, I left off two. Hold on here. All right, that should be better. All right, so that one goes that way. And this one's going to wrap around our page like that. Okay. And this one is also going to wrap around like this. Except it's going to come down to the bottom. Okay. So just so we're, we're sure of what we're doing here. Or maybe, you know what, I'm wondering if maybe I'd be better off with just wrapping it around here. Oh, that's what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> Never mind. Let's put that back around there. And let's get our picture on here while we still have some glue. Let's put that right there. Because what I'm thinking is, now that I put that down again, is I'm thinking I want this one to come out over here. This one's going to be at the top. I'm thinking I want this one on this side. See, I did it again, you guys. Maybe if I, maybe if we hurry, we can get this up. Oh wait, you know what? We don't have to. We don't have to, because this is going to go this way. It's going to go like that. So it's when we cover the back that we want to cover it. It's when we do the back. Maybe. All right, let me rethink that. 
Okay, let's go on and cut this off. You know, it's pretty bad when you plan something out and then mid-plan you decide to change things, huh? Now, what we're going to use to decorate our pages are, see all these little things here? We're going to fussy cut those out. And um, we have a couple of them, plus I have all my other spring and summer bird and butterfly fussy cuts I have out. Uh, we're going to be using those to decorate them. If you'll remember from video one, we've decided to do it this way. There we go. Um, because there are people following us and out there in the crafting world that don't have access to all the big expensive um, expensive things and I was just in Michael's and my gracious oh isn't that pretty my gracious uh, paper packs have gotten expensive um, even when they're on sale they're expensive I've noticed so okay now let's see how we planned on doing this again this one's going to wrap around and go at the top and then we're going to have this little beauty yeah, see, this whole back page will get covered, so that'll be okay. Except she's going to be at the bottom. Come on down here. All the way over here. Now this green one, which is going to get covered here in a minute, is going to come. And she's going to be here in the middle. Right there. So it's going to open this way, and this way, and that way. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, back here, we're going to do the same thing on the back of this one as we did on this one to create our pocket. Actually, I'm thinking we may not on this one to create a pocket because I think a pocket on top of a pocket might be a little bit much. So we're going to go on and we don't want to glue that down, but I do want to It'll be all right here. Let's just go on and stick a little bit of glue in here. Let me get a hold of it. Let's stick a little bit of glue in there. Yeah, we're not going to use that, so when we put our book page on it, it'll be okay. There we go. So, here I've got some of these book pages that just need trimmed off here. That'll work. Oh, the dog left the, the door open here. Let me Let me close that. Sorry about that, you guys. He likes to come visit, so. Alrighty. So I think we're going to go like that. That'll work. That will work just fine. So. Okay. So now it doesn't matter what type of envelopes you use on this or what size you use. Um, I'm using five. In my original project, I used seven. Uh, as long as you're using an odd number, that's the important thing. It needs to be an odd number. Um, and I could have used seven. Again, I could have used seven if I wanted to. But since it's going in my journal this time, um, you know, I didn't want it to take up too much room, and this is going to go in the front of my upcoming journal. There we go. So, I didn't want it to, um, you know, to immediately bulk up uh, the journal or the pages. And depending on, on how many signatures I put in it, um, this is going to be quite bulky, so I might even have to move it to the center signature, uh, depending on what all I put in it. Okay, let's go across here. 
There we go. Okay. So we have two done. Now, let's go on and do this one. Let's go on and do our green one. And our green one is going to have this on it. And um, I think I figured out I want this side of the page on it here. So let's go on and get some glue on it here. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oops. Okay. Now I enjoy using um, pages from books like this and I don't get to use them very often. Um, occasionally I'll use them if I really, really like them. I'll use them as full pages in my journal. I'll just take them out and use them as full pages. Um, you know, fold them in half and just create a page with them because I just love them. So, oops, got a little sticky that time. There we go. But over the next couple of months... My Facebook group is going to be a little busy with other journals, and I'm not going to have time to make one. So, oh, look at the lovely purple there. So it's going to be a while before we get, I can get back to making one for me. So I thought, ah, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to get some things ready for when I am. All right, so we'll put that over there here for just a minute. All right, so this one is going to be a pocket. So we're going to do like we did the last time. Now it's going to look a little weird for a second. So let's decide what side of the page we want. I think I want this one. Since this is the side that's, you know, going to be covered or going under. So now remember, you don't want to put glue here. No glue is going there. Okay, only on the actual um, colored part of the envelope. Okay, so you have to be really careful here not to get any glue there, but you still want your paper to cover that up. And you want to put a, a bead of glue across there. Now, we're going to do that separate here in just a minute. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, we're going to come all the way down. Make sure you get your corners good and your edges. That's important. you got to have the corners and the edges done really, really well. You don't want anything coming up. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the Barely Art here that's sitting on my desk. Okay. So right across here, right across my edge, I'm just going to run a little bit of glue. Okay. Just like that. That's all I'm doing. Well, now I'm going to try to put the pin back in it. Good heavens. Okay. That's all I'm doing. I'm not putting that glue anyplace else. And then I'm going to take this. You know what, I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit. We don't need all that white on there. No fancy tools this time. No, you know, I'm using basic tools here. Scissors, glue, that's it. Okay, let's see. I don't think we need all this white across the top here either, do we? No, we can take, we can knock this down here a little bit. I can't guarantee it's going to be straight, but but we're going to give it our best shot. It is what it is. Okay. All right.
right, so then we're going to line this up, and you want to take it all the way up to where you put that little bead of glue. Okay. Now, make sure this still lifts, and it pushes down. Okay, now don't panic, we didn't glue it closed. All right, now what we're gonna do, did I just do that upside down? No, I didn't. Well, I might have, but we're gonna fix it. Oh dear, I gotta wipe the glue off of the picture. I guess it doesn't really matter since I haven't cut anything. I did do it upside down. Because there's the side of the of those. <laughs> oh, we did do it upside down. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I wonder if we can change it real quick. Oh, my gracious. Let's see. Can we get it off of here and flip it around without, without tearing everything up? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Oh, my goodness, did we get lucky. <laughs> it goes this way oh my heavens all right let's try it this way <laughs> oh well happens all the time you guys happens happens it happens now <laughs> i gotta make sure it lays down flat though Oh, no, what are we doing? Oh, come on, you silly thing. Turn around here. There you go. I think I just glued it shut, you guys. I think I just glued the whole thing shut. Oh, dear. Well, you know what? These things happen. <laughs> These things happen. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's get the glue off of our flowers here. Oh, my goodness sakes. Well, I guess we're going to find out if we glued it shut or not, aren't we? There's the big blob of glue. Right there. There. Now we got it cleaned off. All right, let's get this trimmed. Well, one way or the other, we got to trim it. So, if I glued it shut, I glued it shut. It's just not going to be a big deal. We're just going to deal with it. <laughs> we'll, we'll put something on it if we did. Because I really think we did. We'll just create a pocket on it. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. You guys get to. Get to hang out with me when I'm doing my worst, huh? Yep. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, my gracious. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Well, we're going to let that dry a little bit before we deal with it. So, oh, my. Okay, this one's going to go. Oh, I missed a spot here. Hold on. Okay, let's get that off of there. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> it is what well it is. We're going to put that one that way. And we're going to put this one this way. Okay, I want this to go up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going like that. Okay. 
And then, and we have this one. This little envelope here is, it's not a junk mail envelope. It's actually just like a little card envelope. It is a, let's see, it is a six, it's six inches long. It's a four by six. It's just a, um, I had an old box of uh, card envelopes. And um, it's just one of those. It's just a little card envelope. And um, I want the center of this picture right here. I just want the center of this picture. And maybe before we do that, we'll go on and do the inside. How about we do that? Let's go on and do that so we know we're not doing something upside down. What do you say? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it that way this time. Let's figure out which way this little envelope is going to go. It's going on this side, and it's going over here. Okay, so let me grab my pencil, and I'm going to mark it like this, top. <laughs> that way we won't forget. Now, let's go on and put the back on before we mess with the top. And maybe, <laughs> maybe I won't mess it up. All right, so let's trim it off here a little bit. Oh, my gracious. Okay. We don't need that. Now, let's... Now, maybe we can do this one right. <laughs> we'll actually get what we started. Oh, my. I can't believe that. Good gravy. Yep, you're seeing it happen right here in the craft room. That's the way it rolls. Okay, and I know I haven't put that little uh, that little strip of glue there yet. That's because I want to show you what's supposed to happen. Um, you know, before I mess it up. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. Now let's trim this off here. Okay, now, across the top, see this is still open right here, and the way this one's going to sit, this one's going to sit right here. Well, that's a little hard to get things in and out. I want it, this side to be the pocket, okay? So, I want this side closed up. I want this side open, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to run it right along the edge and I'm going to glue down my picture. Now you can have all your pockets being front-loading pockets, you can have them being top-loading pockets, you can use the envelopes um, as they are if you choose, like I could have them all be top-loading. I want this one to be this side. So, I'm going to cut just a strip off over here. Just like that. Yep, and that is not straight. That is so not straight. All right, how about we do that again? Ooh, 
Oh, that is so not straight. Probably would help if I had a sharp pencil, wouldn't it? Here, how about I use this tool to mark it? And I don't even think that helped because right there. All right, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back here. Right there. That one's a little bit better. There. There we go. Yeah, it's better. Okay. All right, so now I can get in there. Now, where's my... All right, I'm going to have to use a paper punch. There we go. Whoops, a doodles. All right, glue. All right, where's the top of the glue? There it is. Okay, this side. All right, for this page. Now, if you want to ink... By all means, ink. Uh, I haven't inked any of these um, in this one, which is very, very odd for me not to be inking. It feels kind of strange not inking all of my pages. Um, but it really does not show up uh, with magazines. Um, I mean, you could ink the edges of your... Uh, envelopes if you wanted let me get this down where I want it here well, that is about as crooked as a toad's back leg How about we try it this way? That's better. Okay. Holy guacamole. I have just gotten glue everywhere on this one. I'm going to have to 
get this wiped down here. Got it. Got it up there somehow. I don't feel it on here. But somehow or another, I got it on there. Okay, so there's the back. And there's the front. So this one is going to go right here. Like that. And now we have the little guy. This one was a junk mail envelope. Okay. And it's going to go. I'm going to put him right here inside this pocket. Just like that. And I'm going to glue him in there. And then he'll open out like that. But I want him right here in the center. And he'll go right there. And he'll open there. Okay? I know. It's different, but that's where I want him. I don't want any more um, around the... Over here around the um, where the signature is going to be sewed in. There. Okay. So let's get this one covered. And I want this picture on front. So, yeah, we can go on and do this first. Now, this one is a junk mail envelope that I cut down to the size that I wanted. And in just a minute here, I'll show you. Let's see here. I need to cut this off down here. I may need to cut it a little bit more, which that's fine. Um, you'll see it opens, it opens flat like that. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get trimmed off a little bit more. Trim it here around the envelope. Now, what I am also going to do is I'm going to trim that square uh, for when I put it inside the other envelope. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. So, when this one, when this flap goes in here right now it's it's it fits but it's the original size see what I want is I want this to just be squared so what I'm gonna do is take my ruler and go to that point that squared point let's line it up square on the mat and it happens to line up on a on a line, which is perfect for me, since you guys have already witnessed I can't draw a straight line. 
Apparently, I can't line my ruler up either. Okay. Okay. There. Now this is all one size. Now, before I do anything else, and since this is still open, I want to put this in here like I want it to sit at its final destination. Like this. Oh, I forgot to trim this. That's why it looks so weird. Okay. Okay. So I want to go on and open this up and glue that in like that. Now it's going to look weird, but once it's in and it closes, that's how it's going to be. Okay. So. Let's bring our glue mat back over and open this up. And let's put this glue on here. Now we only want it on the on the flap. We don't want it anyplace else. Let's go on and cover it up so we don't forget. And open this up and tuck it in. And position it. I want it right in the middle. And don't push it down until I'm sure that it's going to bend properly. And then come back and do what I want to do with it. Okay. Now, it's inside. So when I look inside here for my in my envelope for something, I'll, I can see it just a little bit, my pencil mark, but I can very easily go in with my eraser and erase it off. That won't be a problem. So out here, on this little tip here, I need to trim this off. Before I cover this, let's trim that off. And let's see, let's make sure that that's going to lay square. I don't think it is. Let's go on and trim that. Okay, now we're going to cover this on the back, just like we have all the others. Okay. Goes like that. This one's going to be a top loading pocket. So we're going to cover all the way across, and then we're going to put that bead of glue right down here. But we also have to cover, put a bead of glue across the bottom. So, so we don't do it wrong, we're going to pull it out and cover it. So let's see what we have here. If we have something small enough already, we can cover it with. Oh, we do. Let's see here. If we trim this, if it's still going to fit, we trim off these rough edges. If that'll fit. No, not quite. Okay. And I know this one won't. Nope. All right, what about this one? Let's clean up this edge here. Let me 
Let's move that one out. Okay, this one will work. Let's use this one. Oh, this one's talking about miniature roses. Have you guys ever seen miniature roses? Those little miniature roses? My mother-in-law loves those things. They, um, they look and bloom like regular uh, roses. They just only grow about, I don't know, maybe a foot tall. Um, but they are just beautiful. She has several of them in her yard um, and growing in pots. And uh, when we lived in North Carolina, I had... I had a couple of them. One of them was peach, and oh my goodness, it smelled just heavenly. But I can't get them to grow here in Pennsylvania. It's just not warm enough, unfortunately. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's trim this. Oops, turned it the wrong way. Oh, gracious, look what I did, you guys. Okay, so I gotta put that back together. Good heavens, I am just losing it tonight. All right, let's glue that back down. Good, good thing this is coming from the top. I forgot we weren't doing a side pocket. I was thinking we were. Okay, so we need a little bit of glue across the bottom. And... We're going to run... We're going to hope... That I'm putting it in the right place here. Right here down the side. Okay, I need it to be a little bit wider. So let's, let's just add a little bit more book page to it. Let's see. Maybe. Mm, maybe I can cover it up with some of our decoration instead. Because I don't want to get it too close to the hinge. So let's see what all we can do here. Okay, I don't know if I got it close enough there or not. But we're going to take a little nibble off the top. to give us our top load. Here's our top loading pocket. Oh, see, that was right where I cut it. So, yeah, we're going to have to put some washi tape or something there, I think. Or I'm just going to have to cover it. Let's just cover it. Yeah, let's just cover it up. Let's see here. No, that's not going to work. We're just going to have to put something else on it because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Let's just put this piece over it here. All right, let's see if we can get this piece off here. Nope, that piece is not coming off.
Okay, well, these things happen. And I'm not paying attention. Okay. Okay, now let's get this cut off here. Okay, now we're better. Now let's get this trimmed. There we go. There. Okay. Let's see, this one, this one goes, let me open it up here, goes here. Like that. Okay. So here's what we have. We have this on the top and then we open it. We have this one, and it opens this way, and then this one opens. Oh, yeah, our glue is not quite dry yet. We're going to have to let this glue dry. Oh, I got to clean off that page. And then we have this one to this one. So, we got to get the glue off of this page here before we can put it all together for the night. Let's get our let's get our wipes here and get the glue off of that page. All right. So there we are. So we've got it all together. Now, the page that we've attached it to will get covered. There we go. Now we got all that glue off. Now, we just got to let that dry. <clears throat> so let me get to see if there's any gone here. Oh, there is a little bit right there where it was sticking. So let's make sure we got it all off. And I think I had a little bit on this one too, didn't I? Okay. And this one. Okay, that's better. Oh, here it is. There it is. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get it wiped off of here. And then we'll get this put out of the way. Okay, so now let's get it attached to our page. So here's our page right here. And here's our first one. So it's going to go around our page like this. And run it right here in the middle. And 
We're going to use Barely Art for it because I want to make sure that it sticks. Now I'm not going to scoot it all the way up to the crease. Um, I'm going to give it just a little smidgen. Since I am going to be putting things in those pockets, I want to give it room for things in those pockets to go. So I'm not going to scoot it all the way up to there. Just a, just a smidgen, maybe my fingernails width. Um, wrap it around that page. And it should, it should fold and wrap nicely. It shouldn't, it shouldn't groan and grunt, you know, as you're doing it. It should, it should go well. Okay, there's that one. First one's in place. There we go. And here's the second one. Oh, that was the sticky one, wasn't it, that we didn't get. So let's get that one. Oh, my glue, my glue mat fell in the trash. Let's get that one cleaned off. Where is it? There it is. I think that's what was sticking to everything. Wasn't it? Let's get that one wiped off here. That's the one that started all the glue mess. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And so this one is the one that goes around. It's the one that's going to go around. Now, I know when I sew in my signatures, it's going to go, there's going to be a hole an inch down. I'm going to have one in the center, and I'm going to have one about an inch up. So my holes, when I sew in, are going to be right about there. Okay? So I know to get the most hold out of this, if I can get that centered and hit those holes, I'm, I'm doing the best I can with this. Okay, so if I can get that right there and get that glued on around this side, right here, then my page will be as strong as I know it can possibly be. Because not only is it going to be glued, it's going to be, this is going to be sewed in. Okay. There's that one. So there's that one. And there's that one. And now the next one, where did they go? Here it is, is this one right here. And it also goes here, but it comes down toward the bottom. You go on top, you come down toward the bottom, not all the way, okay. Right there. Okay, so I'm gluing it in. Let's move this over so you guys can see what I'm doing here. There you go. Okay. And now my last two, these two, Okay, here's this flap. It goes around 
it goes around here, but it goes up. I kind of want it. I want it right, right in the middle here, right here, right in the middle of these two. Now this, it has, it has a glue strip, so I'm going to take advantage of that little glue strip too. I don't know how strong it is. It doesn't look like it's got much glue on it, but we're going to take advantage of every little help we can get. Whoops, I just glued my cutting board. That's all right. We'll wipe it off. Okay, and here's this one. Let's wipe that off. Okay. So, here's what we have. We have this. And it opens here. We have this. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave these open tonight so these gl this glue can dry here. We have these, and it opens up onto this one. I like it, you guys. I like it a lot. And now this is the little envelope that uh, we made earlier today. So let's go on and glue it closed. Let's get our scraps out of the way. I think we're going to use it... I think we're going to use it maybe for a little tag, and we'll make some others. And maybe use them as little secret hiding places in our little, in our little thing. Okay, let's wipe off all of our extra glue here. There we go. Now, all this was made from a book page. From book pages to go into my journal and this little guy can go anywhere I want him to go so I think I want him to go right back in here because I want to this was the one I glued closed I think isn't that the one I glued closed or was it this one I think it was this one because I want a tag sticking out of one of these I want the the tag sticking out um, and when I glue this down it's gonna go down flat like that and then the tags gonna stick all the way up and we're gonna uh, make our tag from some of the extra pages that that we have left so this is the end of video two of our envelope stack we're gonna have one more and that's going to be the decorating after all of our glue dries. Um, and uh, we'll be making tags and, um, and we'll be decorating our pages. And that, that will be the end of it. You guys will have created a little envelope stack using magazine pages or book pages or whatever you've chosen to use. So thank you for joining me here. Uh, again, I'm Lori at the Ladybug Journals, and I'm so glad you joined me today. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to do it. And ring that little bell, and you will get all the notifications when I post videos. Um, and I have a goal set for, for our channel of 200 subscribers by the end of the year. So I would be so appreciative of you helping me reach my goal um, for the new year, uh, we're a new channel and I'm trying to get out there and let everybody know about us and know of all the fun stuff that we're doing and all the fun stuff that's ahead for the new year. So thank you again. And, um, don't forget to like, and subscribe. And I appreciate you being here with me today. And until I see you again, bye for now.